isn't hard to come by on game day. A number of stores in our area make it easy for you to buy things like shirts and hats and pins and shakers all through the season. But there's one store that's been in business for 30 years, and you can find it in the heart of Auburn. Fox 10 News reporter Michael Brannon is at the Rose Bowl in Southern California, who brings you more on this iconic staple. When you walk into the store, you feel a true love for the customers, Auburn, and, of course, Auburn football. Jerry Rigby is the president of Tiger Rags. He started the company in 1983 with two business partners. With the BCS National Championship less than a week away, Tiger Rags owner Jerry Rigby says preparations are in the works. We've been preparing for it, but yet we've been so busy with this SEC championship and, and just the Bama phenomenon. I mean, people are still, that, that game will go down in history as probably one of the greatest games that Auburn and Bama have ever played. Oh. For the first half of the season, sales at Tiger Rags were mediocre. However, after the Georgia game, leading up to the Alabama game, we were in a pretty much of a tizzy. If the bowl game is anything like what these, ga these two games have been, I don't know if we can hold out or not <laughs> because it's just been crazy. It's, it's been a very, very crazy season, but uh, it's been a great season. When you compare to last year, it's been a great season. It's just been crazy ever since then. I mean, uh, people have waited in line. We've internet has gone crazy. It's been, it's been bigger than the national championship was in 2010 already. So. Rigby says it's a blessing and a good problem to have. Rigby is the president of the company. It all started in 1983 with two business partners after they realized a need for a screen print operation in Auburn. After its success, the retail side of Tiger Rags began eight months later. To this day, it remains the only bookstore in Auburn to design, create, and screen print in-house. We have an art department that creates the ideas. We have a, an international illustrator that's been doing our game shirts for us for about 20 some odd years now. All of our designs are different and unique. You won't find our designs anywhere else except here. And we do unique designs. Things are, we just, it's not something out of a can. It's basically created and designed here. Tiger Rags is known for printing game shirts prior to every showdown. Score shirts are also printed after every Auburn Tiger win. We're just kind of known for the, the game shirts and the score shirts. So everybody just, after you win a big game, they just start forming a line around the building wanting to get in line to get the first score shirt. I think when you come to Tiger Rags, you're looking for a unique design, something you're not going to see anywhere else. They've got fabulous artists that do beautiful shirts that um, just with catchy titles and something different. Sandy Reza was one of Tiger Rag's first wholesale employees. She says increased sales of apparel and paraphernalia are seen over the course of the season, win or lose. Watching Auburn apparel from comparative like 2010 where you could hardly find things in the store and blow off the, the shelves. Last year was a hard, hard season, of course, with our three wins. This year, um, anything that they can get in and print is out the door pretty quickly too. So we do see sales with football success. Rigby tells me that a thousand of those BCS National Championship shirts have already been printed in anticipation of Monday night's win that Auburn will hopefully have, according to him. He says that will also be a good problem to have. Now, coming up in about 10 minutes, you're going to hear back from sports anchor Simone Eli. She has some sound from this morning's press conference with Florida State's defensive coordinator, Jeremy Pruitt, as well as some players. And also, she has sound from Auburn and the offensive coordinator, Rhett Lashley, and some other other players, including Trey Mason and Nick Marshall. You don't want to miss that. For all the information you need, you can find it on our website, fox10tv.com. For now, reporting in Pasadena, California, Michael Brandon, Fox 10 News. Alabama quarterback A.J. McCarron was born in Mobile. He played his high school ball.